we're still having lots of issues getting products. We're still only getting about 60% of the items that we order. Tom Mulholland owns Mulholland's Grocery in Malvern, and he's seeing a shift in prices. The prime rib prices in, uh, ha have gone up maybe 25, 30%, you know, so a, a significant jump on that. Uh, some of the other prices are up maybe 10% or so, or, you know, up, down, uh, you know, compared to that, but that'll be close. You know, the pork prices are probably only 5% above what they were at this time last year. Well, they'll never, never come back to where they were before. So I think we're going to see some higher expenses, higher cost of doing business just as a result of that. Council Bluffs Area Chamber of Commerce's Drew Camp says our area has great rail infrastructure, but the biggest issue is on the coast. How are we going to get them inland so they can get to uh, Omaha and to Council Bluffs and make sure in those uh, transload facilities and such um, to get load unloaded and onto the shelves. And like I said, that really comes down to the shortage of truckers. And that's something we've heard for a number of years. Do you think that they might have to shop differently than the years past? I think they're going to have to be a little bit more flexible. You know, uh, money's going to be tight for a lot of people this year. With the supply chain issues on everything, then you may be spending more on your Christmas gifts, on, on uh, some of the other things. So that's going to affect the food uh, industry also. You might not be able to get as much as you used to get just because um, whether it's the prices or the availability because of the supply chain issues, uh, that could create more of an issue than we've seen in the past. In Western Iowa, Isabella Basco, 3 News Now.